The Honda Accord has always been one of our top scoring family sedans. We bought two of them to test. We bought an LX Premium with a four-cylinder. We bought an EX with leather and a V6. Let's see if these Accords have what it takes to stay on top. One reason the Accord historically does well in our test is because of its handling. This Accord is no exception. For such a large car, it's really quite agile. Steering feel is very good. The Accord also has a terrific ride handling balance. What that means is you don't sacrifice the ride to have good handling. Now the ride's not soft, but it really soaks up bumps quite well. One big advance this time around, every Accord has standard stability control. Every engine, every trim line. This makes emergency handling secure and predictable. It's a big advance in safety. The four-cylinder, it's one of the best four-cylinders out there. It's refined, it's responsive, it really likes to rev. But the six-cylinder, it's two and a half seconds quicker from zero to 60. However, that six-cylinder, it gives up two miles per gallon compared to the four-cylinder. Compared to the last generation Accord, fuel economy went down in this redesign. However, the cars are more powerful and they're a lot bigger. There's lots of room back here, and the seat itself, it's quite comfortable. So just as there's plenty of room in the back seat, there's plenty of room up front too. In fact, the Accord has one of the best driving positions in the business. There's a tilt and telescope steering wheel. There's lots of leg room, lots of head room, plenty of knee room, lots of room everywhere. The front seats, they're really wide, quite supportive. Also, visibility is great. All the roof pillars, they're fairly narrow, lots of glass, really easy to see out of the car. The controls are pretty simple to use in the Accord. They're all big buttons, really large labels. That's a good thing because there's a lot of similar switches here. Also, it's a bit of a reach to the temperature control. There's also some detailed disappointments when we get back to the trunk. The trunk itself is large, but on lower Accord trim lines, you don't get a liner on the underside of this lid. That looks kind of cheap. There's also these old style hinges. The problem is they wind up crushing whatever's in the way. So no car's perfect, but the Accord gives you an awful lot. It's a very enjoyable car to drive. Crash test results are fantastic. And there's lots of room inside for your family. This makes this car a really good choice.